Chad Hill, the early fire chief. I've been with the early fire department city early for about 20 years. A lot of people don't know the, the early fire department was established in 1961. It was an all volunteer department. Obviously the more the city of Early has grown and as well as our 911 area out in the county, more people, more runs. So about 2013, we got to a point that we were running so many calls we had to, to put on a couple of paid staff. So we are still a volunteer department. We do have a 501c3, but we do have some paid guys in the daytime as well as nighttime for those so busy days where the, the volunteers can't cover the calls. Uh, we have about 12 volunteers and part-timers. We have about 15 with six full-time paid staff. Common causes nationwide is, is number one cooking. Uh, basically just don't leave your food unattended, especially grease. Uh, we all know that's very dangerous. Uh, number two, probably nationwide, is heating. Uh, obviously in the, the winter time, your space heaters are the, one of the most common causes. They, they put them too close to curtains or, or even sofas or furniture, stuff like that. Uh, so, you know, be sure to play that safe and back it up a little bit and, you know, just be aware of your surroundings. Uh, number three, probably, actually for, for this area, it's probably maybe one of the number ones is, is heat lamps. So in the winter time, obviously people keep their pets warm and they don't secure those lights and they fall down the doghouse or, or you know, wherever and then starts fire. So we gotta be cautious about the heat lamps. Most essential is what we, we try to, to push is smoke detectors. Everybody needs smoke detectors. At least put them in your, your bedrooms. They're, they obviously save lives. Have an escape plan with a meeting place. If you have small children, that's, that's a necessity. Make sure those kids know where to go. And, and whether it be out front or the neighbors, just, just make sure that that is a huge, huge success. Uh, on the escape plans, make sure you have two ways out uh, of every bedroom. And make sure there's uh, no windows or the doors are not blocked. Uh, this is also essential for kids. In our area, we call it Wildland Urban Interface. Uh, it's one of the number one hazards for our area, actually, which is uh, the growth around the city, people not taking care of areas. So we really, you, you around your, your uh, house, you need to create that, what we call a defensible space or a buffer zone. Remove all the flammable materials from your roof, your gutters, your own, your porch, or even, even around your home. Uh, if a wildfire does break out, it's going to come right straight across. And you know, the less stuff that burns, the better. Uh, cut your grass short in wintertime. Prune your trees and shrubs, and be sure to pick up all the sticks and stuff. Like just a little less flammable material. We're here 24 hours a day. Uh, the volunteers are always looking for new ones. So if you uh, want to give it back to your community, come, come see us.